From the beginning of time, people worshipped the Creator in different ways. The Quran tells us in the chapter of the bee, Surah An-Nahl, وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولًا عَنِيَبُدُ اللَّهَ وَجْتَنِبَ التَّغُوتِ And verily we have sent to every nation a messenger, that they worship Allah and stay away from false gods. So amongst the people there were those who believed in one God, but there were also people who, who based their religion on um, natural things. So they base their religions on the movement of the sun, the stars, the heavenly bodies. Also on the natural seasons. So whether it's summer season, fall, winter, spring. Also on reproduction. So the, the, the mysteries of sexual activity and reproduction within nature. So these nature groups spread throughout the world. And um, they came in contact with the teachings of uh, Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, when some of his followers ended up in Greece and in Rome. And we know that um, these followers, to a great extent, were influenced by Paul, who had uh, ac accepted his teachings, but then started to change the message somewhat, sort of opening up the doors for other types of beliefs. And so we are going into February now, and coming out of January, coming out of the New Year's. January was based on Janus, who is the two-faced God. He's got one face of spirituality and another face of materialism. And that's the hypocritical nature of the New Year's celebration. It's supposed to be a spiritual event, but actually, again, people are drinking alcohol and being involved in, in, in a lot of riotous occasions. So, so this is the confusion. Now going into February, into February now, there was, a, there was a celebration done by the Romans called the Lupercalia. And the Lupercalia was based upon their gods of Pan and Juno. And um, they also, February is actually named after one of their gods as well. And so this is a time where you're coming out of the winter and you're going toward the spring season. And so they used to uh, have large gatherings of young people and they would take the name of women, put them in a large container and the men would choose them and literally have a sexual relationship. So it was based upon this, you know, Cupid concept. The Greek word is uh, eros, erotica. Mm -hmm. Okay, so erotica is, is basically sexuality. And so that, that was the main issue on this occasion. And this is where you get cupids from and hearts and things like that because this is actually the ceremony uh, of, you know, uh, open sexuality. What happened was they combined this with an individual named Valentine who in the Roman times, in the, in the third century of the Roman era, he was protecting young people. The Romans said no marriage because we want men to fight strong in, in battle so we're not going to let you get married. Valentine you know, a religious priest, he disagreed with this. They put him in jail. He went against the state. Eventually, they executed him. And on the day of his execution, he wrote a letter to two of the young people getting married, and he said, from your Valentines. So that's where Valentine, he's St. Valentine's. So, so, so they took the concept of the open sexuality, put the name of, of a Christian priest on it, so it seems like a holy day, but actually, it's the open sexuality of the Lupercalia. And that is the dangerous thing uh, for Muslims and people of conscience to get involved in this because what happens is pornography, erotica, this overcomes everything else. So it seems like it's innocent. It's like they say, a wolf in sheep's clothing. It seems like it's innocent because Valentine was protecting young people. But the reality is, it is an occasion where more people commit fornication and adultery where rape happens, unwanted pregnancy, it is actually a dangerous time. You will see in many of the movies uh, today, erotica is an overriding um, concept. So the, the movie stars are in space and they're fighting aliens and someone falls in love. They're under the ocean fighting you know, a, a beast under the ocean, someone falls in love. They're playing baseball or basketball, somebody falls in love. Every movie, they're fallen in love. Why? Erotica. So erotica is this uh, concept coming out of the Greek culture that, um, you know, pushed the people towards uh, loose, open sexual relationship. 
And this, of course, is very destructive to society. Not only is it going against you know, the law of God, but secondly, um, it creates unwanted pregnancies, uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Uh, it is one of the big problems and plagues in the world today when people do not organize their life, take responsibility for their sexuality. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of damage that actually comes along with it, especially for the women. And so therefore, we're saying to Muslims, don't play around with the devil. Don't play around with evil things and think that it is uh, sport and play. Because what is happening is that young people are being uh, fooled into focusing their life on their sexuality, as opposed to fo focusing their life on their education, on their physical fitness, uh, and then grow into their sexuality. This is how societies developed themselves over the centuries. And of course, the last revelation you know, uh, of the Qur'an uh, brought us the beautiful example of the husband and the wife and the family and how people can protect themselves and how sexuality can actually be a, a beautiful thing. It can be a halal, permissible thing and not something wild and, and, and uncontrolled.